Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this stories design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, we added the functionality of displaying the stories in full screen mode. So if I click on any of these stories, we can see that it is displayed over here in full screen. And if you click on the next button, we go to the next story. And if you click on the previous button, we go to the previous story. And if I click on the close button, we exit the full screen mode. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add a timer. So if I go to the original design and if I click on one of these stories, we can see that after a set amount of time, it moves on to the next story. So we have to add that timer to our current story over here. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Now before getting started with the timer, let's just make this design responsive. So right now if I just decrease the width of the screen, this is how it looks. So let's make it responsive. Alright, so here's my source code. Let's go to the style.css file and let's create a media query. So let's type at media and we will set a max width of, let's try 700 pixels. Now if the screen width is less than 700 pixels, then whatever styles we have inside this block will be added to the design. So the first thing we will do is we will change the width of the stories container. So if you scroll up, here we can see for the stories container, we have set a width of 640 pixels. So here what we will do is uh, let's select stories container. And uh, we will set the width to 90% of the screen width. And we also need to set the box sizing to border box. So let's scroll over here and let's type box sizing and let's set it to border box and now we can see we have 90% width of the screen and if I increase the width of the browser window this is how it looks and this is how it looks on a mobile screen All right now let's change the height and the width of the content image the content before and the content after so let's add the selectors over here so let's type stories container content img and we will set the width and the height to 60 pixels and uh, now let's select the content before so let's type stories container content colon colon before and let's set the height and the width to 70 pixels Right now let's select the content after, so let's type stories container, content, colon colon after and let's set the width and the height to 80 pixels. Alright, so that's how it's going to look on a mobile device. Now let's open the full screen mode, so let's select one of these stories and let's make some changes over here. So let's type story full, which is the division for the full screen mode. And uh, in that we have a content division and in that we have the IMG. So if you go back to the HTML file, here we can see inside this uh, story full division, we have this content division and in that we have this image. So let's set the height of the image to 60%. I think we can increase it a little bit. Let's try 65%. And I think that looks all right. And I think that looks alright for a mobile device. All right now let's get started with the timer. Now what we need to do is we need to perform the same operation that happens when we click on the next button over here. So we need to add a timer and call this function for the next arrow. So let's go to the JavaScript and if we scroll down here we can see for the right arrow we had added this event listener and this is all the code that we have for going to the next story. So what I'm going to do is I'll just cut this code from here and I'll just create a function. So let's create a function called next story. And I'll just paste the code over here and I'll just call this function over here. So here I'll just type next story. And now let's go back to our design and let's see whether everything works all right. Let's click on this story and let's click on the next button and everything is working all right. Right now let's go back and let's add a timer. Now what we need to do is we need to start a timer over here when we click on the content. So here in the event listener of the content, let's add the timer. 
So here I just type set interval and here we need to call the function next story and then we need to add the timing. So let's set it to 5 seconds. So let's type 5000 which is 5 milliseconds and now let's see whether this works. So let's go back and let's click on one of these stories. And here we can see after 5 seconds we are going to the next story. So everything is working alright. Now we have some problems to solve in this timer. So if I click on one of these stories and if I wait for 4 seconds and now if I click on the next button, we can see that it immediately moves to the next story because uh, it had already passed 4 seconds and if I click on the next button it goes to the next story and it just has 1 second to stay on that story. So what we need to do is we need to clear the timer every time we click on the content or every time we click on the next and the previous buttons. So let's go ahead and call a function called clear interval and here we need to add the name of the interval. So let's go ahead and create a variable over here. I'll just name it timer and now let's scroll down and here I'll just type timer equals set interval and here I'll just pass the name of the timer so I'll just type timer over here. And I will do the same for the next and the previous buttons. So let's copy this clear interval code from here. We'll also copy the second line. And uh, let's scroll down and here for the left arrow, let's add these lines of code over here. And we'll do the same for the next story. So here after next story, let's add these two lines of code. Right now let's go back to our website. And let's click on one of these stories. And now let's wait for three or four seconds and let's click on the next button. And now we can see that the timer is reset and it waits again 5 seconds to go to the next story. So everything is working alright. So that's basically how you add a timer to these stories. And that's basically it for this video and with that we have completed designing these stories using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,